This is our DOE experiment. It tested two variables to see which gave a more concentrated spread when shooting a shotgun. The two variables tested were the distance from the target and the amount of powder. Our group is Go Big or Go Home. My name is Claudio Arvallo. I'm a sophomore majoring in electrical engineering. Hi, I'm Dong Ting Jane. I'm a freshman and I'm on the side I'm Jen Batista, I'm a sophomore, and I'm doing mechanical engineering. I am Derek Strickland, I'm a freshman, and I am undecided. We as a group chose this, this experiment because we wanted to combine fun and learning. Also, since many of us have never sh shot, shot a gun before, we figured this would be a fun way to learn more about the DOA experiment of testing multiple variables and seeing how they interact. The response variables that our experiment was designed to test for was the amount of powder and the distance from the target. All other variables were kept the same throughout the experiment. Both types of shells had the same size of shot and the same amount of shot, but one was two and three quarters inches long and the other was three inches. The long shell had more powder, which correlated to more power in feet per second. The larger shell traveled at 1,550 FPS, while the two and three quarter shell was only 1,375 feet. We wanted to test the degree of difference the distance from the target had from the spread. The shorter distance was only 25 feet, while the longer distance was 30 feet. For this experiment, we did four tests using eight inch targets that were taped on plywood boards. The shotgun was fired at a distance of 25 feet and 30 feet. Each test was shot from the same position and by the same shooter. The first test was from a short distance of 25 feet with a low amount of powder whereas the second test was from a short distance, but with a higher amount of powder. The third test was from a long distance of 30 feet with a low amount of powder. And finally, the fourth test was from a long distance of 30 feet with a higher amount of powder. This experiment tests how the variables interact the positive interactions are the experiments that are, are same signs, while the negative interactions are mixing the negative and positive variables. These videos show the short range shooting for a low powder first and then a high powder second. The results were found by counting all the shots that hit the target. The results showed that the low amount of powder had the most numerous hits at the shorter distance. The small, smaller amount of powder also had a high concentration in the circle at the long distance, but overall there were fewer holes in the target at the longer distance. The high powder had a lower concentration on the target overall. Also the longer distance prevailed to have a lower concentration. These pictures show the left targets are the low powder shots and the right targets are the high powder shots. In order to definitively calculate the effect the distance has on the spread of the shot, we use this equation. By finding the average of the two long results and then subtracting the average of the two short results, it gives us the significant effect that the distance has on the number of shots near the target. This negative 26 
correlates to the amount of shot that penetrated the target. With it being negative, it means that the further away the target is, the less holes they have needed. Doing the same equation to calculate the effect the powder has on the spread of the shot, the interaction of negative 12 was found. This means that the gunpowder had a smaller interaction on the spread of the shot than the distance. However, it was still negative. So by adding more powder, it will result in less amount of shot that hits the age of the person. The interaction between the two design variables ended up to be zero. This concludes that the variables are separate and that there is no combination that will net a larger result. As you can see, their slopes are equal, and the lines do not intersect. This means that they have no influence on each other. In conclusion, the shotgun spread is affected by each variable separately. For example, if the experiment was done with the OFAT method, the one factor at a time, it would show how each variable separately affects the spread. Then it would prove that the distance always has a larger effect than the power. Possible variables related to the spread the shot could be the, the amount of shot while the other variables remain constant. The size of the shot could also affect the range, the procedure, or type of powder could, al could also affect the spread. Thank you. Thank you.